Hi guys, this is a quick tutorial where I'm going to show you my picture profiles so that I get the closest and the best skin tone straight out of my Sony a7 III. Now this is probably only going to work with the 7S III, it might not work with the R2s and all the models because of my uh, gamut settings. I've put here all my picture profile, there you go. If you don't want to listen anymore, that's the profile, don't take my word for it. Give it a go, record some skin, Put your clip in DaVinci or Premiere, check out your vector scope right here, make sure your skin indicator line is right there, and select your skin and let me know how it went. Let me show you some of my clips. This is taken straight out of the camera, I haven't done anything to this image, and all we're going to do is create a mask and see how it coped with the skin. So let's create a mask here. Go. There you go. Pretty close. A little bit of red? Sure. The easiest way to go around this, of course I can start messing with the primary wheels, but I want to leave those for later when I want to adjust the look that I want to give. I don't want to waste stretching my image, correcting the color of the skin. I want that to come straight out of the camera. That's why I did this, because 8-bit Sonys don't have that much room to stretch. I'm not going to bore you with the details, but they only have 16 million colors available. It's a 420 chroma subsample. Um, you know, it's, it, it's great watching color grading and skin adjustments on Da Vinci with tutorials you see on YouTube, but they're not with 8-bit Sony's. They're done on your Arri, on a Red, on a Black Magic, all raw, 444. Great, good for you. I don't have that. Uh, privilege. I need to stretch my image and manipulate it at least as possible. So the least possible step that I can do to just add that correction, just add a bit of tint, green to red. So take the tint, watch the skin, watch the vector scope. There you go, lined up. I haven't done anything else to this image. And there you go, guys. There's your perfect skin. I would always add a bit of contrast. And now you can carry on grading. But this is the least possible grading. Let's take a look at another example. Okay, let's take our hero. Okay, let's take her there. Let's create a mask. Boom. It's already there. I don't have to do anything. Maybe a bit of contrast. Sure. Now it's just up to you. A little bit of contrast. There you go. It's done. There, there was no adjustment on this image. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Here she comes. Okay, let's see how we recorded the skin. Again, let me reset that note. No adjustments. This is straight out of camera. Let's make a mask. Boom. A little bit of red. Okay, take your tint. Shift it ever so slightly. You're done. Add a little contrast. And that's it. Now you can go ahead and grade. Another example. Let's take a look here. Let me reset that node. Straight out of camera. Make a mask. Boom. Take that sting out of the red. Sure. Get the tint. Dial it in. And it squeezed it back in with the least adjustment. Add a little bit of contrast. And you're good to go. So that's it, guys. That's how to get perfect skin tones out of your Sony a7 III without having to stretch your image in post-production. So there you go, guys. Let me know if you like this, and I'll make more videos. Peace.